Okay. So today I would like to continue based on our previous tutorial. And this is our previous tutorial at new record. What we need to do now, we need to create a we need to design a new form to insert the data into SQL like database. So we need to create our form. This is a form and we have a column here. We have a column and inside column we have a container. Container. This is our container and this is our second container. Okay, so now we have a two container here. And the first container, we need to create a new. Uh, we have a we have a column here, and inside column we have a children, and we have a text form field. This is the first one, and this is a second one, and we have a three text form field. Okay, this is your text form field. And this container we have a child, we have a row. So in second row we have a race. We have a race. A race button. And inside race button we have a We go to min and then here we have a race and then just copy this form and here okay okay change log into save record and the last one is on press like this and enter. This is on press. So you can test and admin. And the second one is a password. And now we have a this. We have a one. Two, three, and we need to make sure we have a padding here. We have a padding. We have an age, and here thirty point oh, and we have a container like this here. This is a container. No problem about this. Let make sure before we have a this button here. We have a wait a minute. We have to expand it and like this. Wait. Okay, still have a problem. Don't worry about this. Try and this. Like this. Okay. So you can see here. We have a login. No problem. We have a password. Now we have a this and we have a this one, two, three. Okay. The second one is here we have a container, we have a padding. We have a padding. Okay. So inside padding we have a padding and age. This one will change to only. And here we have a top 10 and we have a bottom also 10 and you can see what happened right now okay here we have an admin 
we have a password and you can see now we have a this field and don't worry about this and we have a container this is a missing comma no problem about this and the second one is we need to declare a form as a key here we have a form key and this is a variable name we need to declare first okay sorry and then we have a final form key equal to um, global we have a, here we have a form state here we have a semicolon and the second one we need to declare a three variable name string underscore id string underscore name string underscore email okay this is id name and email and here we have a text field the first one is an input it's a, we have a decoration we have an input decoration and inside this we have a label a label tag and here we have a student id like this okay this is a comma so what we need to do this is only for the first one for the second one you just copy and then go to here you paste and the second one and the third one also the same step inside this and you change to name and the last one is email okay now we have a student id name and email okay we have a n admin and we have a password and we have a login now we have a this form student id name and email okay now we need to do a validation so here we have a validation well and like this if while well, the is empty and then written student id is required so and you copy this one go to this and then paste and the, the same step here paste and this one change to net and this one change to email okay admin and password login okay when you click this button actually nothing happened but no problem go to on press here if form key dot current state dot validate and like this run this application you can see what happened right now the password and this and you press this button you can see student id is still required student name is required and student email is required this is all we consider as a validation and the next step is to get a value to get a value you go to here and on save well equal to name id equal to okay this is a declaration based on this one now copy this one go to here the same step you just change to name and the second one is go to here 
and say this is a email okay now we have a name we have a name we have an email and here form dot current state dot save okay now go to save function this is save function and then here we need to create y underscore save and this like this print underscore id print name and the third one is a email okay click on this and you can see admin password so now we have a form validation like say a001 and richard and r at gmail.com and save you can see here we have a a001 richard and gmail based on this print okay that's all for this and then for the next tutorial we will learn how to insert this data into SQLite database. Thank you for watching.